one of a kind. They had kept him seven long years, hidden behind a crumpled wall in a cavernous shelter set like a cage. And when the king ordered, they fed him mildew bread, made him drink the milk of rancid yaks, waited for his skin to turn pale and for his voice to leave him. Then, when he was eager for water to dislodge the sand in his throat, they promised him life for his stint. They told him, Use your fingers like the limbs of a Darwin bark spider. Make beauty like purple lilies and the call of the shuffle wing bird. With tools laid out like surgeons' instruments, he performed his vision. Pounding like the call of a woodpecker, he softened and formed thick inlets of gold into sunbird tails. With hands bent and nails jagged, he planted gems in rows like marching ants, and with each new tide, he cut, pierced, and soldered. And when he had shaped his dreams into curves, when he could see the image of his face in the gleam of the dome, when he knew it could not be matched, he inscribed it with time-worn text, and it was done. The king called his people to behold the work of the master craftsman and they reveled with delight at the skill in his bones. Then they cut off his hand. <laughs>